Okay, guys, so we um, figured out that we're going to put the line here, and then we got that one um, with the hole inside, Mexican and then, line. yeah, that's the Mexican line. And we're going to place this tangelo right here so that it can grow nice and big. What do you think? I think that's a good time, idea. Then you'll have, like, almost a circle of the fruit. Yeah. In the meantime, we're planting our pansies. And yeah. it won't block any of our fruits and vegetables. Yeah. What do you think, sis? I think it's good. Think yeah, it's, it's a good, good idea. Yeah. yeah. That, that, so I was moving this and I told dad, you know, I was thinking the key line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dad said, why don't you put the pantain gel over there? Because it grows big. Yeah. yeah. I didn't think about that. That's, that's, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Because yeah. they get kind of big. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do get big. And it'll, like, make shade for the chickens when it gets super hot. Yeah, that's what I said, too. <laughs> So right here, thumbs up. Thumbs, thumbs up. up. Also, mom, me and sis finished two mounds with the um, with the frog. Let me take a picture of this. Yeah, and you're gonna um, and, do a few more. We're gonna do a few more. Thoughts. And provide and shade for the chickens? And provide um, shade for the chickens because we will take this tarp off, but we're still going to get rain and stuff. So um, when it gets hotter, we'll take this tarp off and then I'll provide shade. So I think it looks nice, guys. Beautiful, huh? All right. She okay? Dad's going to turn it just a tad bit. Yeah. So we're good. Guys, I think it's, it fits perfectly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, the other way. Huh? The other way. A little touch more. Mom, well, can we go play at the back of the pansy? Yeah, right there, right there. See what we're trying to do, guys. Yeah, we're trying to line up that piece right there that's growing. We're trying to make it where one grows that way, one grows that way. And you know, it'll bush out, but we're trying to get the main branches to be able to spread out more, more space and have more fruit since it's a little garden we're just trying to stuff in as many trees as we can reachable and we figured this one is a little bit more productive and we can go pretty tall on this one but uh, about as tall as the Eureka lemon we could still reach them even though it's a little tall we could still reach them and it's not too we don't have to get a ladder Hello there. Uh, chickens think it's okay right there. What do you think, chickadees? Hello? What do you think, Pollo? Oh, Zora. What do you think, Zora? Do you like it there? Pollo and Asana. Are you going to eat all the leaves? Uh -oh. Hmm? <laughs> Little chickadees are watching what we're doing. It's always exciting when you plant a new tree. So we have the Eureka lemon, the orange, the tangelo. And then it wraps around to the peach, the nectar babe, and then the three-in-one Asian pear. So you almost got a full circle of fruit. <laughs> D 
the sweet mint the girls trimmed um, last week and look how much it took off beautiful about a week week and a half ago As you can tell, for the holy knee family, all our clothes is <laughs> knee samples. <laughs> you can tell we're true gardeners out here. You get some knee pads. little mound on this too around this? Yes. Yes, yes. Please. Thank you. Oh yeah, they got a cover. There we have it. A mixed thornless Mexican lime. It's the fingerling lime. This would be the Mexican thornless lime. shovels. Those are the poles we bought from Lowe's. Fix it first to do some more gardening. There is some life on the Chinese Mormon. This is awesome. Abraham. 
these are beautiful, but they're just in my way. But everybody, well, it's a 50-50. Some want me to keep it in the house, and I mean the girls want to get rid of them. Only because they attract a lot of spiders. I know they're beautiful. They give us privacy from windows, but in time, our trees will grow. Back to planting the Oro Blanca. Blanco. Okay, so our mom's gonna put our um, Oro Blanco in here. One of the weirdest materials in the yard. Yeah. What the heck? But I can use it for my knees right now. <laughs> Want me to give you a pillow? No, no. Thank you. It's hard, it's, I can't see with the bushiness of the tree. So I hope no mom makes it this mound. How's it look? That's nice, mom. It's really easy uh, making the mounds. Mounds. Huh? Yeah. We got the Tangelo Thornless Mexican Lime and the Oro Blanca. Oro Blanco. And I still got the Pluary. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna plant. Because I'm trying to keep evergreens on the fence. And deciduous inside, except a couple. But I gotta go find a spot for the pluary. working in the back there's going to surprise me um, they're planting pansies right now and they're going to get ready to bring me the pluary because we're going to put the pluary right here hope it's a good decision 
soon we'll be taking out this house and then I don't know maybe put a, another garden bed or something there don't want to but it's cracking the water bucket has the pluary and Nayeli boys bring in the pluary Nayeli's bringing the pluary. No, it's already starting to get a flower on it. And that should give us enough space for it to go up, to spread out, and walk away. Yeah, it's gonna look pretty, huh? All right, thank you, Mama. Do you think the pluary will look good right here? Yeah, I think so. Is that where you girls would like it? Yeah. And, the, and or do you have another idea? Oh, I think it, I think it'll look good there. All right. So, pluary's new home right here. <laughs> Welcome to the garden. Welcome to the garden. Mm -hmm. This will be our our one to fourth tree we're planting today. Yay. And pansies. And pansies. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> I bet it looks pretty. It does. It does. Thank you. So I'll go ahead and uh, put some dirt in here and I'll put a mound and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, girls, I'll let you get back. Call me when you're ready. Okay. Thank you. The girls want me to go check out the surprise already, so I'm gonna go real quick. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I can never finish one project, huh? Uh, I still gotta finish this off. But we're getting there. Sometimes when you do a lot of work, you got to take a break from one and just start on another for a minute so you don't get burnt out. Oh, look at what a good girl. She's pulling weeds. All right. Nice. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, how well, pretty. Oh, they shine so wonderful. Look at that. The sun is just shining. Oh, so pretty. Right next to the onions. Yeah. Wait, Mom, can you record me real quick? I have to say something. Sure. So, guys, uh, we finished our painting, and now we're showing our mom. Mom, come over here. Pretty, pretty. Sorry for the shadows, but it's that time of day oh, where the, the sun's at. Before. Really? Ooh, my garden girls are busy. <laughs> Not yeah. <to> <laughs> and then this one accidentally ripped, so we're just gonna put it in a sandwich. Yeah, it's pretty. But, uh, Look at that, guys. Look what the girls did. They got their pansies in. We were gonna do marigolds, but then we thought, hey, we got a lot of marigolds on the other side. Let's do pansies, because they're edible too. Look how beautiful those flowers are, guys. And for a choice of color. A lot of choice of color. Wow, that is beautiful. Here. I just love it. Look at that. Pretty blues, oranges, whites, yellows. Got this one. Oh, so pretty. I'm coming. I'm sorry. I just can't stop looking at all these. I get the deal now. Thank you. You saved one for me. You know, Mama loves planting, huh? Yeah. Oh, they would always think of me. And Girls. You know, we, didn't, we didn't do the jujubes because we didn't put onions there, so I thought we weren't going to do uh, flowers there. Yeah. Because then it's back of the pool, too, and it gets a lot of pokies and the fruit falls. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful girls, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. It was fun. And now we I'm bored. Still got a lot more pansies that we get to plant it's over down the other row. Mm -hmm. See yeah, Mama's almost done down there, and we can plant the, the pansies down on the new mounds. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So we got the pluary in here. It's a, the candy heart pluary semi dwarf. Got it planted. 
looks really beautiful. And if you look up here, it's already getting the growth in there. And it's so gorgeous. Thought it'd be a good spot. One, because I'm running out of space. But two, giving it some thought. And when I come through this black berry, I come through the blackberry arch. Huh? That'll be the ring purr, and then you wrap around. You got josta berries, con condola, condola flowers. You'll have the candy heart pluary, and then another josta berry. So it kind of is just gonna wrap like that. And then in the future, that's gonna be the strawberry tree. And so when you come, you'll just walk straight through a little bit of bed of fruit. What you think, guys? It's a lot of thinking, planning, thinking where the, when it gets big, where the shade's gonna be, what's it gonna block, what's gonna, when the sun moves different positions, how the sun will be for a certain amount of hours, and making sure that we still keep an open area for fruits and vegetables, but yet still have a lot of our fruit trees, which we focus a lot on fruit trees. But uh, still got to have our greens and vegetables. All right, on to the next. For our video log, today is March 5th, 2023. That way we know when we planted the tangelo, Mexican lime, the oro blanco, and the pluary, and the pansies. March 5th, 2023. The gorillas left me a mound to put my little pansies. So I did one two, three. I'm not doing the far back because we have gooseberries back there. So on this one, we're just doing the fronts. Are we going to put it in here? Yeah. Okay, guys, so we're going to be putting it in the circle of a Jega bed. Yeah. All those birds, guys. Our dad's gonna be di <laughs> digging the hole for our guanmingo. For the guanmingo? The guanmingo. <laughs> right in the center of the circle. 
I was gonna say, we didn't get the beans. How many do you want? 14 inches. the dirt inside them. more, huh? Try it. Now we gotta see if this is shape, right? I think it is. Yeah. Will it get any bigger, Mom? Will it get any bigger? That's center right there. Yeah, okay, bigger. Yeah. Uh, then, Mom, you have to cut down these strings. And time. 42, so 21. Because the beans are Bring supposed to go this way. Remember? Yeah, but that's but okay. I think I think <clears> we're gonna <throat> get it off. Yeah. It's going off this way. Yeah, that's what I'm going off. And then 42, so then you got it. Yep, right there. It'll good be good drainage. Yellow tea. Let me step on it. Yeah, just gently, please. You keep rocking this song. You don't need it because you're going to keep rocking it. Sis, what do you have to say? <laughs> what do you have to say about this? Um, I'm super excited because this is my this is one of my dream trees to grow, and I hope it's going to be successful. <laughs> Tell me it was in Zoom then. <laughs> what is this drink? Guan Mingo. Once again. Guan Mingo. Guan Mingo. Guan Mingo. Guan Mingo. <laughs> Guys, so what we planted today was the Plurary. Oh, the um, tan, tan, tangi tangilo? T Mama, tangilo. 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 And uh, we plant me and Ali planted the um, pansy, uh, pansies, and then we, uh, our mom put the cedar, cedar. and then the um, these trees. Don't mind the hole. And um, <coughs> this is our last tree that we're probably going to plant today. Yeah. Because um, it's um, it's getting dark already and it's getting cold, so we're probably going to continue on tomorrow. Today is what March fourth. Um, the mulch is coming, um, uh, I meant going in. The cedar. But, the mulch? Yeah. Cedar mulch. The mulch? I'm letting you know cedar mulch. Yeah. I hear the mulch, huh? I forget. The cedar. The, the red cedar. Guys, um, also, um, we're planning to put, I'll show you guys. Come on. Here, back. Yeah. So, we're planning to, um, our wolf apple is and if you don't know, um, the wolf apples can uh, make a whole apple pie. It's so huge. It's about like maybe this big. Yeah. It's a wolf apple. And we're going to be um, planting it right here. Yeah. A tree, uh, the b red banana tree used to be here, but it, I don't think it made it. Made, made it. Yeah. So we're going to be putting the wolf apple here. Um, yeah, so we're super excited. Also, guys, stay tuned for our spring tour. We're going to be doing a spring tour video on March 20th with our shirts that we made yeah um 
it's not on for sale for everybody. It's not for on public sale. It was just something that we wanted to make for our family. Yeah. Um, as a YouTube channel, but. <laughs> I made a smiling face. <laughs> Make a big smiley face, a cute one. Okay. Like that? Like this. <laughs> smiley face, okay. Come in. This is the last tree um, that we're gonna be planting for the day, right? Yeah. And this is like a fifth tree, our fourth, yeah. I meant six. Okay. okay. And then our pansy plants. Okay. okay. But look at the full moon. Wow. Wait, let me zoom in real quick. Let me zoom in on that. The moon is just so beautiful right now, guys. It looks so bright, but like you can kind of. But look at this, guys. Look at this. It's a Glen Mango. We put the red cedar around it. We're going to clean up this scene. Look. Beautiful. So we still have to uh, wash all this up, uh, replace uh, some more rocks there. We did those rocks, put that mulch. We covered this part of the rock. We still have to do that part there. We still got to fix that part. And then this project will be complete. So about another day or two, depending on the weather, because it's been raining a lot. So we got to work between the rain. Bye guys, um, stay tuned for more of our projects that we're going to be doing. Yeah. I think it's that. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video.